Someone recently asked me if there's any products from my first year on YouTube that I still use, and the answer to that's yes. But I thought that was a great question, so today I'm gonna to look back at the very small handful of items from my first year on YouTube that I still use to this day. I used to do a lot of my intros out here. I kind of miss it. Of course, the weather hasn't been that great recently anyways, but I digress. So I was looking back at my spreadsheet of my first year on YouTube, which is October 2016 to October 2017. I did 148 videos and 120 products I reviewed. And looking back at that list, there's actually six products from that first year that I still use on a regular basis. There's also three others that I recently stopped using and four more that I had to replace, but I still use the replacements to this day. So I'm going to start off with the six items that I still use from my first year on YouTube. Let me head inside and get started. Right, the first item is down in this dark corner of my room, down in this bottom drawer here, and that is the Atomic Beam Lantern. All right, so here it is. It still works, believe it or not. I reviewed two lanterns my first year. The first one I broke, this one I didn't. This was the 11th video I did back in November of 2016. I still use this one probably maybe once a month. I do get some use out of it still. Uh, this is still sold online, but honestly, you can find uh, cheaper options out there. But as far as I'm concerned, I've gotten quite a few years of use out of it, so I'm pretty happy with it. Now the next one I can't show you, but I can show you where it's at. Check it out. In that box is a bunch of Christmas stuff, and with the Christmas stuff is the Magic Tracks. Video number 17 from December of 2016. It's still in there and I can't get to it, but that's, uh, I do use that about once a year. All right, so I pull out my Magic Tracks every Christmas season since then. So it's been six Christmases. I've used it for about a month every year. Every year I pull it out, Bailey goes crazy when I first put it up and then she kind of forgets about it after that. You don't like that? Yeah. Or you do like it? Oh, Bailey, get it. <laughs> It's held up better than I expected, considering the fact that I run it in a circle around my tree for a good part of a month every year. And the magic tracks are still sold. For this next item, I gotta head into the kitchen, see what we got here. Well, first let me show you, there's my kettle, my coffee pot, and my toaster I've recently reviewed. But in this drawer, underneath these pot holders, that's right, Hot Hands. No, not Spoon Buddy, Spoon Buddy was later. I actually still use Hot Hands pretty regularly. This was my 30th video from January of 2017. Now when I first saw these, I kind of goofed on them because the ASEAN TV commercials are so over the top. But over time, I kind of started realizing they're useful. And look how well they've held up. And I probably use these about once a week. I don't think this brand is sold online, but there's a bunch of them on Amazon just like it. All right, back to the flashlight drawer we go. Here we go, and what's next in here? Oh, there it is. It's the Atomic Beam Headlight. All right, so yeah, this one uh, still works. If you can hit, see that. Uh, uh, what's interesting about this is I kind of damaged it when I originally uh, tested it out. But over time, it seems like the damage kind of went away. It, it got better, so I kept using it. I would say I use this one about once a month, uh, more so in the summertime when I'm outdoors at night more often. I don't know if it's still available in stores, but if you do see one, it might be worth picking up because to me, it's been useful and it's been pretty durable. All right, my next item is located back in the kitchen. This was my 99th product review, and this was the Gotham Steel Pasta Pot. It wasn't a particularly popular item, but I still use this probably once or twice a week. I really like the fact that you can lock these handles and drain the, the pasta in there. The nonstick surface is held up really well. I shall also point out, this is probably one of my mom's favorite items I've ever reviewed. She loves this pot. And fortunately, this is still being sold on Amazon. All right, the last one of these six is actually in my bathroom. Here it is. This is my 142nd product review in September of 2017 was the Philips One Blade. I still use it, although a couple years ago I had to replace the head. It did break, but the head was only about 15 bucks get tons of use out of this. I probably use it every other day. I still recommend it all the time and this is still being sold on Amazon and in stores. All right, there's a couple of items that I recently stopped using, so recent that I probably should mention them in this video. The first one being the Comfort Click Belt. This was my 15th video I did in December of 2016. It actually is still in decent shape. It was my main belt for a while, then I replaced it with a core track line, and it's kind of gotten pushed further and further back to get more belts. But I did use it even somewhat regularly until, until fairly recently. 
I should also point out that Brennan got one. Uh, he uses this for five years. His ended up breaking, but that was his main belt for five years. I'm not sure if this one's still sold. I, don't, I haven't seen it on Amazon. The last time I saw it was in Bed Bath & Beyond, but there's a lot of ratchet belts out there like this. Uh, the Core is the one that I recommend. But for an as -seen on TV belt, I think this one held up pretty well. All right, what you're looking at is a regular outlet cover that I did not review, but back in July of 22, I actually replaced the Night Angel that used to be right here. That was my 44th video back from February of 2017. Night Angel was just an outlet cover with an, uh, a nightlight on it. The only reason I stopped using it is because I painted my room and I replaced all my outlet covers. It was working fine up until then. The Night Angel wasn't very popular and it doesn't really seem to be sold anymore, but it seemed to be kind of a knockoff of a snap power, which you can still find. It's like a broken record. Here we go again. Next up, my beloved Bell & Howell light bar. This was my 116th video in July of 2017. This is another one I used until mid-2022 and I just cannot find the charging cable for it. It goes right there. I, I If I could find it, I would put it back on my active list. Right now it's kind of inactive because I can't find it. But I had a lot of uses for this. I, I actually was quite happy with it when I was using it. And this one is still sold on Amazon. Now the next category of items, there's four of these. I reviewed the original product and for some reason I had to replace it with, with something else. And I'm still using those replacements to this day. Let's head once again to the flashlight drawer for the first one on this list. Another trip down to my flashlight drawer, here we go. Now here's a couple of replacements because I reviewed the TAC light. My fifth video ever back in November of 16 was a TAC light. And the tack light broke, but I've got a ton of replacements. This is only three of them. I actually have more than this. Despite the ASEAN TV hype, I actually find these to be pretty good flashlights. Um, I've heard a lot of feedback from users who like these. The only reason the tack light broke is because I put it through some of their outrageous tests, like put it underwater. As long as you don't do that, they actually hold up quite well over time. The next item that I, I used for a long time that I end up replacing, I still use replacement, are the thin optics. This was my 75th video in April of 2017. It was also my product of the year that year, and I really did like it. The problem is that eventually they broke. I got a replacement because I do have a warranty on those, and those ended up breaking too, so I ended up just getting kind of some cheap uh, generics that I still use on occasion. I did like the thin optics. That's why I named them my product of the year. I, I wish they had last a little bit longer, but they are pretty good and they are still being sold. All right, so my 107th video in July of 17 was a Fusion 5 Pro Shield Power. Now that's not what this blade is. I had to replace it because it the battery blew up in that a couple years ago, so I ended up having to replace it. I still use the Fusion 5 blades though. Uh, these last for a long time, even though they're expensive they typically have become more economical than cheaper blades because they last so long. And the Fusion 5 series blades are still sold on Amazon and in stores. My 120th product review from August of 2017 was the Fur Wizard. Now this is a knockoff of the Fur Wizard. This one basically is just a fur remover. You pull it out and then you just take the fur off. It works quite well, very efficient. And this base here, pulls the fur off, so it's constantly cleaning it off. What happened was my original is it got wet, and when it got wet, it started smelling bad. I could never get that smell out, so I just went with this kind of knockoff, and I've been happy with it ever since. So I would say of all these products that I still use for my first year, the ones that I use the most would be the Phillips One Blade and the Gotham Steel Pasta Pot. I would have never guessed that those would be the two that would outlast all the others from that year. But you never really know how long a product's gonna last. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. I'll be back in another couple days with my next product review. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. And here's one more thing from my first year that's still around. Good girl. Get it. See you know if I tree over. Yeah, Get it. <laughs>